everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So in today's video, by the title I think you can tell, I am actually going to be doing the trend that went around Instagram, which all the influencers were like posting videos and pictures saying show me a picture of and then people would say like a day or what they wanted to see of basically a photo of them. So I thought I would put on my own Instagram poll and I just want to do a little thank you for every single person who voted on the Instagram poll. I am so 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 grateful. It literally means the world to me. So I have got a few very very juicy pictures i mean some of them are quite funny and i will have to show you like i was laughing so much so before we jump into the video please subscribe down below and give a like and comment on what videos you'd like to see more of and let's just jump straight into it one of the first photos that somebody wanted to see was my first ever photo of my camera roll but the last photo i actually had was when i went to a place in bath called borley wear with my i, I feel like i sounded really bristolian then um but with my friend Molly and she took a picture of me dipping like my toes in the water and it just oh looking back on the photo like it just makes me literally want to be back in summer like in the heat like enjoying the sun like I cannot wait for February and January to just like get away like it's the first of February and I'm already like getting the bin so that is one of my first photos in my camera roll another one of them is your last photo talking about the first and the last photo I actually have is in the snow and I literally oh my god it was snowing the other day and it was so pretty outside and of course I just had to go and take a selfie and I took some cute little videos as well, see if I can put it all up here. Another one is from a failed makeup pick. So, oh my goodness, I have so many failed makeup picks. I actually did um, like a, tried to do a TikTok where I did like this James Charles like painting on my face, like all across my forehead. And I thought I filmed like the whole TikTok, didn't even take any photos because I thought, no, no, like it's fine. I filmed a TikTok. Oh my god, no, I did not. I got rid of the whole entire thing and the next clip was just me completely having it running down my face. So you can enjoy that photo there because I was absolutely depressed, but I did do it again and I, to be fair, it did come out better than what I thought. Another picture is puppy pics. I take so many pictures of my dog. I actually made like an Instagram for my dog and then I thought, I need to stop this now. Like this is just not even funny. Like people do not want to see my dog all the time. Like I just actually have such a love for my dog. Like I cannot cope. I literally love her so much. Another one is butt pics. Well, you know, we've got to have a little cheeky one here and there. Here's me in the swimming pool. <laughs> Another one is of me and my best friend Eloise. She said, your fave picture, i.e. me. Oh my God, there are so many. Like I really couldn't decide like what photos because I literally, every photo I take with Eloise, like I literally love it. But these are some of my faves. I literally love them. And they're all like such good memories. Like, I'm sorry, doesn't anybody else like miss? Like first of all, in first lockdown, I was like, oh my God, I love not going out. Like it's so nice. I don't need to go out. Like love to go to the pub, have a drink or a few cocktails, but like, yeah, no, I don't need a night out. Now I'm actually gagging for it. Like get me out on a night out. Another one was your best outfit not gonna lie like i am just not very good like i am actually that person who's like who thinks that they're like absolutely gonna be banging like yeah i'm gonna get that outfit i'm gonna get that like american apparel tennis skirt i put it on and then i'm literally like uh you actually look like the most ugliest cretin to walk on the earth like i don't know what it is but when i try and put something on other than leggings and a cropped this crop jumper from pretty little thing i literally look like an absolute ugly creature cr walking along this earth like nobody wants to see that who wants to see that not me literally so i don't really have very many but i think one of them is this one but funny story about this photo i literally put on this outfit to take a picture and then i took it off like I didn't even bother like <laughs> I just put it on took some photos and then was like let me just go and change and then we'll go out <laughs> because I was just too embarrassed because I just thought like no I can't wear that I look ugly so yeah that is probably my best outfit that I thought like wowee like that's trendy and not like ugly <laughs> 
Another one is from your birthday. So my birthday was back in March and um, these are just a few little cute videos and pictures from my birthday. I love my birthday. I was really lucky to be honest because my birthday was just before lockdown. So um, I was really happy that at least I got to have a family meal and everything. That was more than enough for me. And my 21st was so special because of that. I feel like it was even more special because I didn't go out. I had a really great memory of just my family and my friends, which is so lovely. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And we went for cocktails and my nan was like taking shots. Like what? I just, it was, so, it was really funny. I love, I did love it. Another one was the last festival that I went to. So the last festival that I actually went to was with my best friend, Corey. Um, we went together and oh my goodness, like I literally love Reading so much. Like it was so good. I've got to say though, like, I don't know about anybody else, but the last Reading, I think it was 2018, the last one, it must be. But not not even joking, right? I just felt like it was so road manny that I just didn't enjoy it that much. Like I'm not quite, I'm not a very road man girl. Like I just am like that like little pansy that likes like fluttering around, going woo to like all the music, not like having a good old like uh, uh. still like insane. And I think my favourite day was the day when we went and seen Dua Lipa. Like oh my god, Corey was literally the like so funny. Like he was so funny. I had the bestest time. What? Don't make out the phone, you know, it's like I get the junk and alone too. Don't let him in, you'll have to kick him out again. Three. And yeah, but like, Reddit is just so gross. Like, here's just a little story for you. Hope you will enjoy it. But like, I literally remember, I was like, right, I'm going to go to the long drops. So if you don't know what they are, they're like toilets, like the silver block toilets and um, that you go like they're on the, your campsites, like with each, each campsite. And it was like the first day. So I'm thinking, I'm going to go for a wee and it will be absolutely fine. Like I don't mind. Went to the toilet, opened up the door straight away and there was a fat log on the toilet seat. Not in the hole, not around the thing, not on the floor, literally just on the back of the seat. Like, mate, are you actually having a laugh? You've just done a fat, massive poo on the back of the toilet seat. You haven't even been bothered to just nudge it in. Like, I just was like, oh, right, brilliant. No, that's just not for me. It's just not for me. It's not the one. But yeah, so last festival was Reading. I really hope to go to like Glastonbury. Another one was at your happiest. I actually found this dip photo really difficult because I feel like all photos I take, I usually am so happy. But when I thought of genuinely my happiest, it would have probably been like before lockdown, your happiest would have probably been when I had my first flight to, um, when I had my first flight with my job, I literally, that day was absolutely magical. I loved it. I got to sit in the flight crew compartment and watch the plane take off and land, which can I just say was the most scariest thing in my whole life. Like I was hanging on to that little seat like, <laughs> like it was so scary. I'm not even joking. Like, oh my God, even thinking about it, I was like sat there with these headphones on and I was literally so scared. <laughs> but it was so good though. It was so like, oh my God. I remember getting home at like 11 o'clock after my day at work and I was like mom ah! and she was like in bed like what is wrong with you like get away from me and I was like I'm on the best flight and obviously I was deaf because I've just got off the plane and it was really turbulent at the end so everybody's <laughs> mum was just like sorry I'm laughing it really was a happy memory for me I think it was literally like I think it was like a couple of days after my 21st birthday so I just had my 21st birthday I just did my first flight ever like it was like oh like peak at that moment life was just like hitting an uh, all-time yay then another one is your last holiday my last holiday was in cyprus and it was actually to um celebrate my um boyfriend's cousin's wedding and oh my goodness it was magical like it was such a magical holiday like it was just oh it was just lovely and it was so pretty it was actually in cyprus at nissi beach oh my goodness like i'll insert some photos like not even joking it was so pretty another one is your fave of you and bill i could not decide between like four of these photos like 
me and Bill have so many amazing memories and we do so many fun things. A lot of them have been like on holiday and things, these photos. So um, especially ones like when I we went to London for his 21st birthday in the ice. Um, we went to like, you know, the Amsterdam, what is it called? Like, it's not the ice hotel. Is it the ice bar? I can't remember what it's called, like the fire bar after the ice bit and like we just sat down and had some drinks and Bill got like this fire turning like glass thing and it was just like, mm -hmm, it was so good. And then we also, um, when we went to um, our first holiday in Mallorca and I remember I was like, please can we just take a photo together? Because obviously when you go on holiday as a couple, you can't really, like, I just feel awkward saying like, oh, can someone take a photo of us? Like it's just awkward. So we set up our camera on our balcony because I was like, please can we have a photo? And oh my God, I love the photos like so much. And I just feel like it was just before we went to a pool party together and we were like nervous and being like, oh, of going to a pool party together like it was just really fun and I just and we loved it another one was <laughs> post your toes lol here we go babe here's a picture of my toes I hope you really enjoy that <laughs> Another one was from the 8th of June 2019, which is actually my best friend's birthday. Here is a few photos. Oh, I love that day. We were literally so fun. I'm gonna insert some video clips of us on a night out as well. Like literally, that was such a good night. I think it was Eloise's 21st birthday, but it was literally so fun, like literally insane. I absolutely loved it. And then I think one of the last photos, so, um, what is your 804th photo and then also your 235th photo? Oh my god, like, this took me so long to find. I literally just have so many photos, but they're basically just, like, of my dog. <laughs> And one is actually of me and then the other one is actually of mine and Bill's first ever trip away to London and it was when the, just before we went to the Sky Garden so I don't know if you guys watched my last video of some of my juicy questions um, but I basically spoke about one of the times in there of like my favourite date and here is a photo so that's like kind of weird how someone asked me that last time and then the 804 photo was like a picture of that story I told like pff, weird that is a little bit weird but yeah so that is basically the end of today's video I just want to thank you guys all for watching and if you have got this far please like and subscribe down below it literally would mean the absolute world to me um please let me know any videos that you would like to watch um because I don't know if you guys even like watching these I I just I don't know I don't know I have got the most exciting exciting content coming up like I am so excited and I cannot wait for you guys to see like I literally am so excited like it's gonna be amazing so please just stay tuned because yeah some good exciting videos are coming so super soon like you're gonna literally love it like it's so yeah so very happy so thank you so much for watching um the video today i really hope you have had a great day you have enjoyed this and it's at least made you laugh once um or smile and um have a lovely rest of your day and stay tuned for another video next week i'll speak to you soon bye